Today the Rebbe's 120th birthday. I'm here in front of 770, the Rebbe's headquarters. I'm not going to speak today. I just want you to get a feel of the celebration of Chassidim in honor of the Rebbe's birthday. You're also going to have the opportunity to hear from Rabbi Wagner from South Africa, the meaning of this day, as well as part of the 120 tanks parade. So here we go. There's an interesting uh, story with the Mittler Rebbe, the second Lubavitcher Rebbe, told his grandson with regards to the birthday of his father, the Alter Rebbe, the first Lubavitcher Rebbe, the Bala, the author of the Tanya Shulchan Aruch. He told him a very interesting thing. He said when a tzaddik, a neshama klalis, a neshama klalis means a general neshama, the general soul, that all the souls of the generation are connected to it. Which means Hashem sends one soul that is the one who can accomplish the mission, the purpose of creation and bring it down and all the other souls are part of it and through it they also accomplish the mission and the purpose of why Hashem created the world. Before it comes down to the world, on that day that it comes into the world, all the tzaddikim and all the holy souls from throughout history they all come in Gan Eden and they all sit together with it, if you can call it, they fabreng with it, they make a little get together and they give it blessings and they give it all types of, uh, all, the, all the powers and gifts that it will need in order to accomplish the most important mission that it has on the day that it's about to come into the world. And he continued that this happens every year on that day that it came into the world it repeats itself all the nishamas of all the tzaddikim and all of and hashem himself he said in, at midnight comes and he gives also these special powers every one of us is part of this general soul this great soul and every one of us has the part of this mission the Rebbe's soul came into this world on this day, meaning that every year on this special day, we who are all parts of this great soul receive the greatest powers possible in order to accomplish our mission, which our mission is one thing and only one thing to bring Mashiach, to make the world into a place where Hashem's presence can be felt. This we receive on this day and when we come and we connect on this day physically in a physical space to this neshama klal, it's this general neshama, then we get those power to be able to actually fulfill the mission that he entrusted on us. And that's how much more so on a year like this year, which is 120 years, where it says in the Zayar that at the 120th year of Moshe Rabbeinu, the first Jewish leader, is the time when he gives the power and the Zayar continues, Moshe Loimis, Moshe doesn't die because he continues constantly to give this power to all the Nishamas of the Jewish people by giving them everything they need physically and spiritually to actually fulfill their mission, which is the historic mission of all times to finally bring the coming of Mashiach, at which time the world will be a place where Hashem's presence is fully revealed. Mashiach is 